Let's see how you can cancel your Shopify subscription and close your Shopify store. So if you are taking a break from dropshipping or you simply want to change the platform for your e-commerce business, simply follow my steps in order to close your Shopify store correctly and prevent any charges to your credit card or payments after you cancel the subscription and close your store. Firstly, you want to log into your Shopify account in the browser and select the store which you want to close. I only have one store on my Shopify account, so I will deactivate it. But if you have multiple stores connected with your Shopify account, simply select the store you want to close. You want to click on your name at the top right corner of the screen until this falling menu appears. The option which we have to click on is this Manage Account option. That is going to open this general page, but we have to select the Security option right under the General Settings. That is going to allow us to modify a couple of settings that are important before closing our account. Scroll down to the bottom of the security page and just make sure you are logged out of every single device that you have here. Don't log out of this specie EFC device, but log out of other devices, such as your iPhone or Android phone or other PC or laptop computers. I'm simply going to click on the Log Out button next to the mobile phone, and then let's go over to the next step. After you log out your account from other devices, you have to turn off or disable the authentication methods if you have any of them enabled. That's this two-factor authentication section, but mine is turned off and I don't have any enabled, so I can continue to the next part. If you have any login service on this page that you had used in the past, make sure you delete them for security reasons. Let's get back to our main Shopify page and access the settings. You can go over to the settings by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner of the screen, and you'll then select the plan section. Before we close our store and cancel the Shopify subscription, there are a few things which you want to do in order to avoid getting charged and getting unnecessary payments after closing the store. If you have any third-party apps that are connected to your Shopify store, make sure you remove them and unsubscribe to every single application because there might be an app which you pay for and that's connected to your account. So when you close your account and if you haven't disconnected the app from your store, you might get charged for that app. So. Uninstall the apps that are connected to your Shopify store, and then let's continue and close our store. You want to click on this Deactivate Store option, and you'll get a pop-up message where they'll ask you for a reason on why you are closing the store. You can select a reason and continue. It says here that if we close our store, we won't have access to our Shopify admin, including the sales data, reports, product and customer information, and many more things. So keep that in mind. They'll retain this information for a certain period of time if you change your mind and want to reactivate the store. But I don't want to do that, so I'll click on Deactivate. So wait a couple of seconds, and our Shopify store will be deactivated. It says that our store information will be stored for a period of two years, and you can reactivate it at any time if you want to subscribe again and change your mind. So that is how you can close your store and cancel your subscription on Shopify. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like on it and I will see you in the next one.